Hello everyone, G.I. Joe here coming to you from my bunker in Atlanta, Georgia. And I just wanted to come to you really quickly and talk to you about an idea I had for a turn tracker, which will eventually uh, spawn into a round tracker. I'm probably going to use the same idea for a round tracker as well. But um, this idea was kind of influenced by one of the original map files that I saw that Young Grasshopper had probably, I guess, a year ago or so when he had um, a map file and oh, right along in here somewhere it had, I think, a turn or round tracker. And uh, I think then when he started working with Intrepid to build his new map files, his Alpha and Delta map, that I noticed that the round tracker uh, was gone from here and I would assume it's because he needed space for these uh, ghost boxes for his house rules. So uh, I really liked the round tracker and turn tracker. So um, I thought I started thinking of how I could incorporate that into my new custom table I'm getting ready to start building. So I came up with this pretty simple idea and just thought I'd share it with you guys. I decided to uh, place the roundels on top of magnets like this. Now I got these magnets at um, Hobby Lobby, just a package of uh, three quarter inch magnets like this. Made about six or seven dollars. And I simply glued the roundel on to the top of the magnet. Uh, I just used, I think, Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Super Glue, if I'm not mistaken. And because um, the purpose, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have some type of metal piece that would adhere to the top so that it wouldn't fall off and tip over during the game. Um, now this is just simply a the end of a, um, a drawer pull that I got as well at Hobby Lobby. I paid, what, four bucks for it, which was probably too much. But anyways, I just wanted something that was metal and this was the only thing that seemed kind of cool. I saw the star. I actually wanted something not quite as bulky, maybe something more like a, an actual metal piece, but you could come up with any type of metal, you know, piece that you would like if you're interested in this. And this way it can move from one roundel or marker to the next, as you can see right here. And you can place it on there, pick it up and place it on here and so forth. Now, of course, you don't want to have to hold down the roundel so that it's not pulled up so what I did was um, the whole intent of this was in my board I'm going to countersink them so I just took a, a drill bit I drilled it in and then now of course I put it on there and everything works um, again that's just glued on now what I learned was what I'm probably going to do is when I actually countersink these into my board, I'm going to put the magnet in first and then glue, um, put the super glue on there and then put the roundel on top of it. And I'm probably going to countersink this even lower so that the roundel is even with the wood surface. And then I'll probably like shellac over the top or something like to keep it from scratching. And what I did on this one was I, I counter, I drilled a hole. And then I hammered this in because it was kind of tight. And then when I did so, it kind of scuffed that a little bit. So what I learned was, quickly, um, that I would put the magnet in first, like I said, and then glue the roundel on top. And then I'm probably going to, uh, like I said, you know, put a little, um, some type of coating or something over the top of it, shellac or whatever, so that it'll attach and... Um, won't fall off you know if you bump the table or whatever you won't have things falling off so uh, I'm also going to make this for a uh, this will be for a turn marker as I said so that I can keep track of whose turn it is and then I'm, but that will be um, embedded into the actual frame of my table and I'll probably do something similar for a um, round marker where I have the as you can see right down here this is the income tracker, but I'll have, you know, the same numbers that I have like this on some few extra income tracker boards that I have, and I'll cut out, you know, one, two, three, four, five, 
and uh, I'll put them into or countersink them into the frame of my board and uh, put magnets underneath them as well so that um, I can have actually two of these tracking the round that we're in as well as the country's turn. That way, as you know, a lot of times games will go in several days. Sometimes you can't finish the game in one day and that way you know where to pick up. So anyway, so I hope you enjoy this and hope it's maybe helpful to spawn some ideas for your own table if you're going to get ready to build a table yourself. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.